Hello everybody, welcome to Bass and Bonsai. Not a topwater edition, but this is where we catch largemouth bass and I show you how to have fun catching largemouth bass. So buckle up and hang on, it's gonna be a good one. Oh, I saw that one come for it. I threw it past the grass and I had to pull it over that and as soon as I did I saw the thing like you could see a swirl come towards it. Probably thought that was a frog coming out of there or something. I don't know if the camera picked that up or not. You got it Charles. That was a fish too because it was going like this. See? Yep. Look at it. Probably ran you under a rock. It is a he, fish. He, he come <laughs> <off>. <laughs> He's like, see? <laughs> I was trying to figure out, it might really be that big if you couldn't bring him in, then he's running with it. He's like, when he moves, I can't do nothing, and when he stops, I can't do nothing. <laughs> he got one of them big ones. That's one of the little rockfish Charles had. <laughs> Charles is tearing him up on something. He is, too, right in front of Man at the back of the boat. Moodering TRD. Oh, TRDs. All right, so they ain't wanting these regular colors. Oh. Normal colors. See, I played with him long enough. Charles, didn't even have bit that one out. Off. Boys and girls, I wasn't even recording, but uh, that bass right there was kind of delayed reaction. Charles was in the back of the boat. Matt was casting, then I was casting, and then Charles was casting and catching fish we were missing. So he caught, caught him on a mood ring TRD. So I had this mood ring, I don't even know what they call this. It's, uh, something blue, it? Nah, I can't remember what they call it. Yeah. That looks good. Little morning dawn. So now we're on them. I'm just going to catch fish on a freaking chatterbait. Hell with you guys and your soft plastics. <laughs> <laughs> Hanging up every other cast. Get out of here. Wee! Let's go. Chatterbait Charlie. Back in the house. Oh. Yeah, those are only. So there's like $70, 74 dollars. The thing, thing about them is the uh, the braking system kind of sucks in them. They well, it can like you gotta? Heavy stuff. I gotta yeah. fit another you chatter bait. Yeah, you'll you'll hit that point. You'll be like throwing good, getting a little more distance, a little more <laughs> distance. Then it just you go. Goes. But me and Charles, we 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 adjust on the lighter side. Trust me, Charles, I've seen some of Matt's settings. Matt will adjust them tight so they're oh, not yeah. going to backlash, and then he just wings it harder. Yeah, and you can get away with rods it this way. Yeah. Yeah. Break them and they they're like, oh, they're still good. You got two eyes. Break one, stubby. break another one. Get down to where they're just out with like a couple little stub of like three guides on <laughs> it. Out, uh, that still works. Yeah, still I broke learning. out the doctor's cousin. Yeah, I saw that. We are on little fish. Ow. And the basement of this house is a, is a uh, three-door boathouse. But he didn't get... The water the levels are wrong enough, off. So the water never There's a little one. his boat out. Really? Yeah. yeah. Like, uh, duh. And, yeah, because his house is built on the opposite, the very shallowest end of the place yeah. in the from the dam, you know, opposite end of the dam. Which seems kind of odd to build yeah. in the shallowest area. I mean, Wee. You think there'd be something in that? Well, it's like, oh, there is one. You think there'd be something in that gunk, Matt? <laughs> Crazy. That's nuts. I got. I think I got as much weight in gunk as I do him. But he was there. Yeah, look at that. That is a probably even amount of weight. Uh huh. What do you? What would you even call that? What would you even call that stuff? I think that's hydrilla. Or not hydrilla. Uh... It's like swamp moss. Oh, what were they calling that? Oh, quick release. No, what the hell he's saying? They're the swimmers I like. It's from Easy Rider, man. Charlie. I don't even know what you're saying. Jack Nicholson? Oh, yeah. Oh, man, I got him on. Is that a bigger one? This little speed demon little one. Nice little chunk. Mm -hmm. 
seen that new cast king that they're freaking pedaling, Norman? That got a nice one. Oh, he's peeing on you. What? Two hundred dollars. They're claiming it is the it is the best of everything BFS is what they're claiming. Cast King real? Yeah, Cast King real. No. Two hundred dollars. What's it called? Oh, I forget what it's called. Because you got the Valiant Eagle, which sucks. It's well, worse than the Zephyr. Expensive Cast King. There is two hundred bucks. Yeah, I was gonna say Cast King's known for cheaper stuff. It's all Brent Chapman bros. Oh, I thought I had one. I think I hit the bottom. Mine like caught oh, caught the breeze. I'm about to set the hook again really easy. Go ahead. And what I was casting right Ooh, beside you. He just realized he was hooked. Oh yeah, he's like, hey! <laughs> I didn't want to go this way. <laughs> what the hell's taking me over here? Chatterbait game picked back up. Matt got him another one. Kestrel Elite BFS. Castrol or Cast Kestrel? Hmm. Wonder what they, how light's a spool, I wonder. That's a jug with the pressure on it. See it moving? Yeah. yeah. Where are you looking at? Right here. Yeah. No, Two it ain't. Jugs. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it is. I actually saw it way the heck up yeah, on that one's other green, end. One's we red. came past. Them. Here, put them on a look. What the hell are you guys looking at? I'm right seeing. There. That's a jug. See it now? And the it's green got and the a fish red. On it. And huh. I guarantee you it ain't tagged. We ought to go over and grab it up. Just see what's on it. Just see what's on it. Probably old crackheads. I thought that was a beaver with a piece of grass in his mouth. That's huh. <laughs> why so I was like, no, that ain't grass. I'm pretty sure it's a jug. No, that's a freaking beaver with the grass. Maybe you're right. Maybe you need to. What the hell do you wear glasses crash. for? Look at that thing. See? <laughs> <laughs> Told you. <laughs> I knew. I was like, I ain't that blind. But see, this is. All right, boys and girls. Houdini works its magic. Charles oh, working his magic. Charles got that color I hate. That's probably the exact worms you got for me, isn't it? Nobody buys orange worms anymore, Charles. Yeah, I kind of have that same, it's almost like what I, if I was, you know, trying to walk the dog with the frog or a popper, I'll kind of have that same tug yeah. doing my soft plastics and you can see it under underwater, it does that jerk in this. I was trying to figure out what you were doing because I thought that grass was your bait. You just <laughs> No, I'm throwing it out and then I'm just kind of, until I get out a little deeper, I'm just twitching it around, then I'll let it hit bottom, then I'll pull it again. More or less trying that reaction, like if they see it, they got to yeah. whack at it because they're like, oh, doing something dumb. What is this thing doing? Oh. Ah! There's, a, there's another one. Oh, boy. Oh, they're getting gigantic. I found them guys. They're over here. They're on the dam. They're they're on the dam and that dude's been hooked before. Look at that whole side of his uh -huh. mouth missing. You were still young. Learn something. Charles got one. We are on to giants. The land of giants over here Matt brought us to. Look at the, oh boy, we, we're tired of looking at that one, Charles. <laughs> On that one. Oh wait, you passed the spot where I missed my big one, I think. Maybe I need to pull this thing, be out a little deeper. Well, this, I was throwing this a this is a little deep water. And all I felt was rock. Is that that chattering one? Yeah, the chatter, or not the chatter, uh, the jabber yeah. So they make a couple different diving yeah. versions? Well, they just come out with that one. And like I said, yeah. I, when I first got the jabber jaw, like, I was tearing them up on them. So, you know, there's a lot of places that we fish that you got to throw a little deeper. Right. So when they come out with the deep diver, I was like, oh, I'm definitely getting some of those. And I ain't got the damn thing on. Yeah, they're done, they hadn't translated so far anyway. Uh, 
and you may just need to figure out either where or how to use them or they may just suck. Sometimes they'll do that. They just push it onto all their products until, oh, there we go. Oh, that is a jumping fool. That thing jump. he'd still jump. That's small mouth material. Get over here. All right, we're still on them. Wee! Moto, forget to hit record. All right, boys and girls, our Jackie Hama. You know what's funny, Matt? They got this, they, they copied this, and they don't call it a jackhammer. They call it a Jackie Hama. <laughs> they got the names spelled a little different. The Chinese guy really trying yeah. to say. Wee! So, yeah, it's kind of funny if when you look at it, you're like, oh, that's, no, they didn't copy a jackhammer. That's clearly a different bait. It's yeah. called the Jackie Hama. <laughs> you see how the paint flakes off from hitting jackhammers are plastic no 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 the newest ones are are they this is just it now these are 3 8 ounce and they got a little smaller hook and that's why i like them but you can get the 18 they're 14 they're 10 or 14 gram depending on the listing you find them under yeah the ones that are 18 gram are your half ounce but they're direct freaking i mean you can hold them up against the jackhammer do you have any jackhammers mm -hmm. sir i'm gonna show you no nope <laughs> look matt's, how much line i had out i know charles had a freaking fish hit right there matt's stunk. back back yourself he's still up. on there though i feel him here hold that real quick you'll feel him I'm... yeah try to get yourself in don't even worry about my line i can always just break it if i have to Watch out, where are you? I'm just backing us up and spinning us around. This is the one that we were caught on earlier that we were setting. Let me get to that side of it. Well, I see the there he is. Hey, got him. A pound and a half. About time Matt's got that one. Char I, well, I saw the thing. Charles was just, you weren't even looking down at your rod, were you? Uh -uh. You just I felt it like yanking it out of his hand. Right yeah. And Matt didn't even see what was going on with you. I heard it. I thought he had it. I, I'm but then off again, now. I thought, oh, mine's jumping. Where the hell is it at? Yeah, but no, Charles was like this. <laughs> He's like this. And we're just going along all of a sudden. Like, Whoa! Charles was like, oh, Mallory shit. with him. She was coming along for the ride. And she wasn't too enthused. But man, once we got down there, it was. There's a fish. It was game on. Like I mean, they were like these size fish every every cast. You couldn't not catch fish. Just all day. So it wore out. She was like she having fun, but she got worn out. So she's sitting there. Look at that fish, boys and girls. So my little boat, you know, you set a rod across it. She just got the rod in her lap, basically across the boat, and the bait's in there. And it, she, we're going through that the one across the island thing. You know, we're crossing on the far over. Side. And at first I thought maybe her rod caught the side of the bank or something, but a fish grabbed it like a decent chunk. And it literally like had the rod boom popped up and she's like, ah, and I'm like, keep the rod from going in the water. She has a spinning rod back then, but that was, I want to say I was on full speed on my trolling motor at the time, which actually was the same trolling motor I got right now. It was still that bulldog. Who's that made by? Uh, motor guys, they don't make them anymore. You cannot get a clamp-on, foot-operated trolling motor anymore, period. Really? Yeah. It's cannot intentional buy. for... Cut. There's another bass. I told you guys this color. That ain't it. Is that... Yeah, that's a bass. For some reason, that for a second, he had a shiny color to him. I thought it was... Oh, shit. Oh, that was nice. Right back in the water. Let's go, boys and girls. Oh, recording, so if I catch a giant. You've been talking to it like you I was recording that one fish, and then, that's a nice size. What size boat is that? Like a 12 yeah that's a nice little size i wouldn't have that yeah that's a little bitty dink yeah he wants to be a giant he's thing about braid you really don't have to set the hook near as hard with braid yeah because you don't have that stretch yep I got gunked up. Oh, maybe, there's a hit. Maybe they do like that. I got one. Yeah, I told you like for, Oh, that ain't even a bass. That dude was choked it. Look at that. 
He did too. How does it even get in his mouth? Dude, I just come up behind and suck it in. Am I recording? Look, <laughs> he's been bitten. Once bitten, twice shy. He should have known. He's been. Oh, he has two turtles. Yeah, he got something. Got him. You just got bass and bonsai. <laughs> Charles has a nice chunk on a very lightweight rod. Get him in. Jump in and get him, Charles. Throw him up to me. <laughs> that's a... That's probably your... No, that's about as big as the biggest Charles has caught today, I think. That's about as big as any of us has caught, I think. Yeah. No, that's nice chunk. On that little lightweight rod, it felt like a probably five-pounder. Or, like on this rod, it would, too. All right, we're recording. Matt got him a bass. But I look and realize where I'm at. And I'm already like way up to where I want to throw a rattle trap. So I'm like, oh, it must be the bass god, you know. Telling you. Tell me something. So I set that down. I'm like, I know I just dug out this whole backlash. But I set it down, pick up my rattle trap, throw it, bam, catch a fish. Another cu couple casts, bam, catch another one. I'm like, sometimes you just, you just got to like see where you're at and... Ah, that's a, that's a nice chunk. Yeah, it is. Bass for days. Like literally, Matt's been here catching for two days now. Yeah. I have. They probably reload by next weekend anyway. And we haven't even touched on any, a lot of big ones anyway. No, and I know there's good size ones in there. Like Taking I'm, Charles' spot. Let's go, Charles. Let's get it. Catch a big one for the show, showstopper. Oh, Charles oh, got one. Nope. No, that's not a bass, Charles. You're still missing some bite that's in between the chatterbaits and the soft plastics. Charles got one. That don't count either. That's another freaking. No, it ain't. Yes, it is. Let me see it. Look at that. He caught a bass. Charles redeeming himself on Bass and Bonsai, catching a bass. All right, let's go, Charles. That's not showstopper material, though. But who, me? No, I'm catching fish, Charles. I ain't got time for spot stealing. I got one, too. Oh! Dude. Told you guys, I'm catching fish. Showstopper coming up. You guys couldn't catch one. You know who did? Right here, because I decided it's a showstopper. And this fish been caught before, I think. Whoa. I thought he wasn't going to throw no more until It's feisty. I know, but I got tired of waiting on you guys. Two minutes <laughs> is too long. Two minutes is too long. I'm 50 years old now. I ain't got time to wait around for you youngins. Look at that. I think he's been caught. Well, maybe that's all from one. All right, boys and girls. Showstopper, is he a jumper? Sure he is. Jump regardless. Purple kind of seemed to be kicking in. Matt, did you well, give up on purple or? Well, yes and no. This much. Charles is going to get your fish, Matt. He's in there. Nope. They're under the dock, Charles. <laughs> hey, you and me both. You don't see me trying it too often. And I know I'm like, watch this, guys. I could freaking slung it hard and it <laughs> doing hit that freaking. Like yeah, I'm like, do it again. Doing like, finally got it under there. I done scared everything out from that noise though. Yeah, there ain't nothing else in there now. They're all like scattered. Uh oh. If that ain't wrapped up. He's what the hell is you this? You got something snagged. Maybe it's a high dollar fishing pole. Oh, I man. got him too though. Look yeah, at look at that. There is a fish. <laughs> Look, hey! He's gonna get off. He got off. No, he's still on. It's a good Here, barb. I want you to weigh this one. Yeah, weigh that fish. Which scale? The one that works or the one that lies? You guys uh, see that? The one that lies is probably better. We'll call that for sure a showstopper. <laughs> it's short. Matt, bound to to get that fish in. What is it? Short four or five ounces? Uh, yeah, the one scale. 
I don't know what was going on with this reel, but for a day or two, it sounded like a DC reel when I cast it. Almost like electric? I cast it hard, you go, Wee! I got one right where, I, right where Matt was. That's the one I had on first. Maybe a little better. Yeah, that one looks a little better. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah there's oh, that's, the good. that's fish of the hey, day hey, if hey, I can hey. freaking keep him. Get him in. Oh my God. I'm recording too. Bring him back here. No, I'll get, Matt will get him. Matt's got him. Whoa! Pull the motor. Pull the motor. I know, I can't see. It needs a... There you go. Hang on. Jesus, we got him. That's a good one. team effort. Watch your boat. Oh, oh shit! That's one I had on, then I snagged it. Yeah, this is what Matt was after. So this one we'll call a showstopper. And I guess I have to give it that this is my bait so far, anyway. I'll be honest, when I bought that, I was like, yeah, I don't even know if that purple and because I hardly, I don't think I've ever had a purple spinner bait, chatter bait, nothing before then. All right, guys, showstopper, putting it into the show. You guys want to kiss it? Mm. I'm going to kiss this one. Definitely a female. I think it's been hooked before. Look at that. It has. Yeah, pulled another one out of there. Uh oh, Matt's got another one. But we're going to end this show with them biting. Matt's is a lot smaller than mine. Oh. Woohoo. So. As you can see, catch and release doesn't pay off. Watch the boat. We're in some crazy wind today. This one, the jumper, sure it is. Whee! That's why you catch and release, though. That bit fish has been caught before, and we just had the fun of catching it, and Matt about got knocked in the water. So, Charles and Matt joined us today, but we're done. Might be right back out here next weekend, 4th of July weekend, fishing with Matt. You probably won't see this till 4th of July weekend, so happy 4th of July if it's fourth of july so get out go basketball for yourself but whatever you guys do make sure you have fun doing it you having fun charles oh. matt you having fun a blast yeah we're having fun i don't know what changed we were doing real good with purple there for a bit now wind died off there's it's a stronger like push into the bank over there this is light the sun's up. been out longer too now yeah water is warming up a little bit I think I got a fish on. I've had that fish the whole time. <laughs> I was just sitting there kind of waiting, like I think. Let me get up here. I'm like, yep, that sucker probably ate it. Get in here. Yep, sure enough. And they will if you let them. They'll hold on to this, uh, those salted ones, you know. Elastic. Won't let it go. They're just like holding on. Mmm, that's salty. Ooh. ooh I a, set a hook on one of them Cinco's. It was a Z-Man Cinco in a tournament. Pulled, I mean, it wasn't, it was smaller than that. Pulled him out, and I could see his mouth holding on to the back of the, just yeah. like that much of the Cinco. Oh, yeah. I've, I've drug them around. Like you said, because you're saying they're, they're back here. Yeah. And you're pulling so hard. They're still like, come here. This is a fighter. Yeah, he's thinking, this is the worst worm I've ever got. Right. It's like, at what point does that thing go kick in and go, well, screw it. It's just pulling me all over. Yeah, I've, I've actually pulled him like a foot out of the water. You can see the worm stretch. About the time they finally realize they're getting pulled out of the water, they let go, but it still pulls them out of the water. Yeah, I don't want to say Matt's nothing. That's got something. Maybe. Nope. He just, I think he's hooked weird. Yeah, that's a little better. That's a nice one. I don't want to say that. The last one I said, though, there's a good yeah. one. Yeah, oh, there's a good one. It was a little dink. <laughs> oh, I had a bump, too. Oh, shit. Hey, you dummy. He ain't ready to stop you. Yeah, he's still fighting. He didn't know you were ready to boat flip uh -huh. him. He thought he was still... He has hooked a touch weird on the side of the lip uh -huh. where he's got it. Almost barely hooked. Oh, shit. Come on, buddy. Gotcha. Yeah, Get him oh, in, Matt. Good. Look at that. There's another showstopper. Oh, he was hooked good. Matt's got blue and purple on that bait. What's this one doing? Nice chunk. You want to give him a kiss? Props. 
you know, maybe even cutting them down yourself, get it to go spin as fast as it could, because you wouldn't need any power. Yeah. You'd just be all about the speed, how fast. There we go. It didn't matter how long it took to get there. That's a little. He had a hell of a head spread. Yeah. He might be a touch better. Yeah. Yep. Nah. I don't think. Come here. Get over here. That's a good one. Well, like the trolling motor I have, it's brushless. And you can run it on a 24 volt. Nice or bass. 36 or no. What's half a 32? 36. Yeah, 36 volt. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, that's Whee! It's only on Whoa. 24 volt. Whoa. Belly flop. It, it, it moves my boat at 3 mile an hour. Huh. Yep. And then, uh, my neighbor, he sent off the Canada and got the back uh -oh. of the bone mount. Got him. To where it's like a, Ooh. It's like a trolling motor. But got another one, boys and girls. On it and you can turn it and everything. Yep. Yeah. A separate pole. Huh? A separate pole. Yeah. Yep. It's like $400 and wait for it to come in from camp. Whoa. Man, he's a fighter. He will not quit. He came out kind of hot. So our AliExpress little crawl on the old wobble head is definitely, I thought, I was like, ah, oh, this color's not that good. And then since then, it went on fire. Yeah. 